Alright guys, what we got here is the wife's Razor E325 scooter doing some upgrades on it. Just finishing up. Just about got it done. I'm waiting on a brake line to caliber to go on the back back here. We upgraded it to the big rotor. We got the hub motor with the hall sensor in it. Uh, we upgraded the back wheel to a 10 inch wheel instead of a 8. This is like, this is the 8 here on the front. So back one is going to be a 10. She didn't want to go with the dual motors on the front. One on the front and one on the back. <coughs> she said she didn't need that much power. So what else we done to it is we added this converter to convert this down from 52 volts down to 12 for her neon lights on here in her headlight. She got an LED headlight on the front right here. And uh, we upgraded the battery from the lead acid batteries to the um, lithium ion batteries. And this is uh, five batteries in parallel and it's uh, 14 in series making this a 52 volt uh, this is a 14 amp hours compared to the factory battery being 7 amp hours so this here should be about three times as much power as it was if not more as it was when it had the two lead acid batteries and it was running at 24 volts. So that's a big difference jumping from 24 volts to 52 volts. We changed the speed controller. Speed controller has cruise control. It has three speed settings. You got low, medium, and high. It also has, uh, uh, this has a hall sensor for the hall sensor in the in the back wheel compared to the other factor one didn't have that because it was a a um the motor was a brush motor this is a brushless motor so it has a hall sensor in it uh let's turn on the lights she got the blue led lights on there she got red around the back to light up around the back and she has the super bright LED headlight. We also converted it over to ignition key. And as you can see, you can see the voltage up there. This used to be the on and off switch. Now I use that for the for the lights. And as you can see, she's ready to go. So, yeah, guys, this is what I've been working on. Um, let me get a close-up on these wheels, because I know I'm going to get a lot of people asking. I got this block. It's quarter-inch. Now it's three three quarter inch with a piece of quarter inch added to it to make it seven eighths. So if you can see right there, that's the quarter inch. This is the three quarter inch. So that's seven eighths on both sides, and it centered the wheel in there perfectly, as you can see. I drilled these holes here and a set screw go down in there and the set screw tightens up against the axle to keep the axle from spinning and to keep the wheel from side and side to side I drill these holes threaded the aluminum block and bolted it to there and that's what holds the back wheel in and I also used a piece of aluminum mounted this to the piece of aluminum screwed it here this is where the original motor went 
and the kickstand is still in the same spot. The um, speed controller used to be up here. I moved it back here, and that gave me more room to put a bigger battery in here. These batteries are Sanyo 26 milliamp hours, and that makes this, as I said, 14 amp hours. So, yeah, guys, this is it. So, alright, I'm going to let y'all go. Just giving y'all a little rundown. I know I got not a lot, but some people on here that's interested in the scooter stuff since I started putting videos up. So, yep, yeah, that's what I got. Alright, thanks for watching.